Hey guys, I'm Steve Harrison, Liberty Lodge 31, Liberty, Missouri. This is the Masonic Curators. I'm filling in for the incomparable Robert Johnson. And I got a couple things I want to show you. This is the container that my Masonic apron came in when I became an entered apprentice in 1999. This is the container that my uncle's Masonic apron came in when he became an entered apprentice in 1956. They're both very similar, and they probably look pretty familiar to anyone watching this. This is what my father's Masonic apron came in when he joined the Freemasons in 1946, just after returning from World War II. It's not as sturdy as the containers that we're used to. In fact, it's wrinkled, it's ripped, it's torn in places, and in fact, it's just plainly a mess. It didn't protect the apron very well, and it didn't hold up very well, and there's a story behind that. What I'm going to do now is switch over to some pictures I've taken of this out of the frame so you can see it better. So this is a picture of the paper envelope out of the frame. My father and uncle both became Masons under the Grand Lodge of Indiana. Prior to World War II, the Grand Lodge of Indiana issued aprons in cellophane, which was more protective and durable than the paper envelope that covered my father's apron. At some point, they switched over to the tubes, similar to the ones we use today. But in between, the Grand Lodge of Indiana and I suppose other Grand Lodges handed out the aprons in the paper envelopes. The reason, of course, was World War II. The apron containers had been made of cellophane. So cellophane looks to be a type of plastic, but it's not a petroleum-based product. And that meant its use did not require petroleum, for which obviously the armed forces had a critical need. This made the demand for cellophane even greater mainly for wrapping, sealing, and protecting food supplies. Therefore, the Grand Lodge of Indiana and probably others had to stop wrapping aprons in cellophane. Just to show how flimsy these things really are, here is the only other picture I could find of another one. And as you can see, it's in much worse condition than my father's. The main design, as you see here, is that of what I would assume to be a senior deacon knocking at the inner door and dressed in the style of clothes worn in the temple in King Solomon's day. In the upper left-hand corner is this small note explaining why the brother is receiving what you might call an inferior container for his apron. It reads, Masonry will understand. Our fighting men need cellophane and its ingredients. For that reason, the protection cellophane formerly gave our Masonic aprons has to be eliminated. This white stock will carry on for the duration. And you will notice the so-called white stock has yellowed considerably. In the lower right-hand corner, we see the Ealing Brothers Everhard Company of Kalamazoo, Michigan made the apron. That company still exists under the name Kalamazoo Sportswear and Regalia. So that's pretty much it. I don't think this tattered piece of paper has much monetary value, but of course it's precious to me since it belonged to my dad. I think its real value 
is that it's a reminder of the sacrifices that people had to make back in World War II. Sacrifices that we don't have to make today. I still have my mom's ration books. Things that we would consider necessities were rationed back then and in very short supply. Sugar, tires for your car, a lot of things that they had to do without so we could win that war. Once again, I'm Steve Harrison for the Masonic Curators. Thanks for watching.